Hey guys, it's Hilary Ann and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, welcome, nice to meet you. Hi, I am Hilary Ann. I am from the Philippines and I do videos on travel, music, and beauty. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video. So a few years ago when Instagram decided that he wanted to be Snapchat, there were a lot of filters that were both in the platforms. Um, however, I actually prefer the ones in Snapchat because they were more well curated but lately I am surprised by the amount of filters on Instagram that were more of like a beauty filter and it's really nice and there is really one specific filter that I am enjoying at the moment and I actually talk about them in my Instagram videos and I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a video of it and so here we are <laughs> so I know that you guys are looking forward to that so let's get it on <laughs> okay so I'm already done with my skincare before putting on makeup and I also placed a makeup primer on my face and then now we are going to move to our foundation so in the filter, it's kind of dark, so you might probably be thinking that you have to put a foundation that is shades darker from you. But no, since we're going to do a Instagram filter to real life, then I think it's better if you're going to put on a foundation that is similar to your skin color. So for me, this is the usual foundation that I use. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. So this is the Fit Me Maybelline foundation in the shade 220 or natural beige. Alam nyo, medyo natatawa ako sa sarili ko na gumagawa ako ng, <laughs> ng makeup tutorial. Kasi putting makeup is one of the few things that I can do quietly. And now, I'm like, I'm forced to talk. So, medyo <laughs> natatawa ako. Yet, yeah, nasa stress ako habang ginagawa ko to. We're gonna move to highlighter. So, the one I'm using right now is this YSL na lang. Sige. This part here, I want it to be highlighted. So we're gonna try to bake them. So I'm gonna use air spun and we are gonna put it in the in this part. Personally, kasi kapag ini-swipe siya or ini-slide, I actually feel like it's moving the makeup. So, I prefer just dabbing them all over my face. We're gonna do our brows. And then, we are gonna use this eyebrow pencil from Face Shop. Ayaw niya mag-focus. In the shade of 05 or dark brown. mascara from L'Oreal so originally it's a filter they don't really care about your eyebrows so you can do any kind of eyebrows that you want so now we're gonna use the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and we're gonna go for the shade this one the shade here. I'm gonna put it in the crease. And you can use any kind of black matte shade that you have there. For me, I'm gonna use this one here. Okay, so let's 
how it looks like. Okay, zoom out na natin. Masyadong wala kayong look mo. <laughs> so now that we're done with the eyeliner, we are now going to move to our lashes. So the lashes that I bought, um, it's actually from Shopee. And it's not really that thick compared to the one on the filter. So what I'm gonna do today is put two lashes together so that it will be thicker. Yeah. So it kind of still looks very natural. Once you take it out of the box, it will be this long. Okay, so there are some parts here that we have to cut. But since this look needs an entire lash line to be covered with so much lashes, we're not gonna cut it very short. English. No, ang hirap explain yung mga bagay-bagay. So we're just gonna cut. Now it's like this. Okay. Then we are gonna put it together. Let's put them together like this. Okay. So this is very thick now. I don't know if it's really a good idea to use this brand. This eyelash adhesive that I have is from Fashion 21. So if you guys know other eyelashes glue that is more better, and they comment down below. Please. Sobrang kapal. It has to be this thick. Okay, so if you're gonna buy uh, fake eyelashes, it has to be this thick. Curl the lashes just so it could go together. Um, but not too much. <laughs> Actually, I don't need it namana. But I just want my fake lashes real lashes to be together. Okay, then we're also going to put on the lower part. Oh my god. <laughs> we're not supposed to do that face. We have... Sige nga, pwede bang tutorial on how to do the lower lashes prettily? Let's try. Sobrang kapala ng lashes ko. Oh my god. And now, actually, when you open your eyes, it doesn't even show anymore. But I just want to retouch it. Okay. And then on the inner part, we are gonna put some Caroline. Graph Ink Liner. This is one of the best drugstore liners I've ever had. It's very easy to use. It's also very cheap. It's just below 200 pesos. Girl! I love this. I love this look. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the main event. Siyempre, ang ating highlighter. So, in the filter, it's really color gold or yellow. This skin color right now, I don't think that we will be able to achieve that. So, I have to darken my shade by putting contour. Okay, so we're gonna use the Detail Makeover Contour and Blush Palette. We're gonna get this together. Wow, ang kapal nun. color we're gonna get some glitters so <laughs> also the filter didn't really put much emphasis on the lips so we're gonna put some L'Oreal um, 
this one is very nude in the shade 248 Flatter Me Nude. We're gonna use this Ulta Beauty Glitter Lip Topper. Wala lang, para lang cute. So this is pretty much the look. We're gonna set that first with some Shake and Glow from L'Oreal Paris. So this is a very good setting spray. I highly recommend it to you guys. Bango pa. And this is the final look. Well, this look is very wearable in public. Um, it's not really as scandalous as how it looks like on Instagram. But um, the highlight is just so intense. Um, actually, if I don't have any lights, it would be really obvious, like really yellowish on this part. Also, the lashes are really thick. Though this kind of eyelashes are so trendy at the moment, so I don't think that there will be any problem with that. But just the highlight is just too much. And for the eyebrows and the lips, it's just very natural since the filter did not really care about that so much. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other filters that you want me to do or any suggestions on my next video, please comment them down below. Or you may also follow me on Instagram and send me the link of the filter that you want me to do. So see you again next time. Bye!